Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous project, in the previous video, what we have did is we have created a project, view composition API, and we have did the basic logic and we have created a basic logic using the options API here. Here we have did the options API and we are displaying the username in the template. And we are changing for a particular three seconds of time that one so that to know the two way binding whether it is reactivity is working or using the options API we have seen. Now in this video, what we will try to do is we will we'll try to implement the same logic using the composition API. So we will implement the same logic using the composition API. So we will remove this one all code. Okay. And by the way, the entire code will be available in the GitHub repository. And the link for the GitHub repository, I am providing it in the below the channel description for every video. And all the code what I have did up to now will be present in the GitHub repository. You can kindly go and check there the future uh, the previous codes, whatever the uh, code I have did. You can they, you can check there and download it okay now here what i did was i commented out the same thing and let's do the same same scenario same logic using the composition api so in order to implement the composition api what we need to do is first we need to use the method setup okay the setup the setup is the entry point for this composition api okay and in this setup we don't have the access to the this variable or anything so now we need to declare a variable username okay username so that we can execute that one okay username is the you need to declare a variable username so how we can declare the variable we cannot use this this dot username like this why because we don't have access to the this in the setup why because this component when the component is initialized before the component initialization only this setup will be executed that means we don't have the access to the component this variable now what i can what we can do is so how we can declare this user variable is just using the vanilla javascript something like that so i can create let username is equal to i can write leela web dev okay so i have created a variable now how can i use this variable so whether i can use this variable or not if i try to refresh this one okay here it is saying that username is assigned a value but never used it is saying that so now you have you have created a variable but you are not using this one so that means this is not related to this one so how we can make this related to this one whatever the variables you want to use it in the template and all those things what you need to do is you need to return this one okay so return that object okay username with the username okay whatever the name you want you can keep it so this name you need to use it here so here if you want you can keep the name and you can use this as a name here okay and now if i go and if i check it here see now i am able to check that leela web dev here okay so i am able to check the leela web dev so that means somehow the variable what i have declared here is related to is the it got related to the template whatever the template we are using so that means the name here i am i have used this name leela web dev so creating uh, creating the name itself doesn't reflect that one in the url so whatever the variables you are declaring it here you need to return those variables using an object okay object you need to return so with the name so whatever the name you are using here you need to use it here automatically okay so this is how you need to declare so now what i need to do if i change so first step data step we have completed now set time mode so when we after three seconds we need to change the variable variable name to lila web to lila so how we can change it here so let's try to run the set timeout set timeout okay here only we can write it set timeout so run after 3000 seconds okay and here what i can do so i already told you that this this cannot be accessed inside the setup so how can i change here so i can change here name to leela okay so i directly change the name to leela and i am doing that console.log executing setup executing setup uh, sorry executing timeout in setup timeout in setup okay so this is the method i am using now if i keep this one in the single code now let's try to see the output here if i if i try to inspect element here and if i go to the console okay if i go to the console and if i try to refresh this one see now here leela web dev is there and here executing timeout in setup has been executed so that means set timeout has been executed and but here the name has not been changed so that means that name what we have used here 
is reflecting the template but it is not reactive but here when we are trying to change this dot username is automatically that uh, the username wherever we are using in the template or wherever we are using it it is automatically changing but here it is not changing so what what is the reason behind this one by default what will happen is the name what is happening here is it just it's a string it's a, it is just a pass by value okay so pass by value so that means if you change this variable it will be not changed so once it is passed means return is passed means that's all so it, do, it doesn't have it doesn't have the link with that username here so now when you change this name also so it will not get reflected here so that is the reason so this is the pass by value that means you have you have declared the name here and you have written this set time is executing after three seconds so that means it has already been written written to the template now it will not it will it is not no way concerned with the change changes uh, changes done by this variable okay so now if you want to keep path of this one means so instead of passing this one by value we need to pass by reference okay we need to pass by reference reference means whenever we change this variable you already learn about this uh, reference pass by reference pass by value in the functions in other languages or in javascript language also you will be able to learn so here how, how we can pass this one by reference so how we can pass this by reference is we need to wrap this one with a ref variable ref method okay so this is the ref and we need to import this one import from view so we need to import this one from view so this is the ref ref means so when you wrap this one using the ref automatically what it will do is it will it will the name variable will be passed by reference okay now if i try to change this one if you try to change this one okay if i try to refresh this one still the lila web dev is passing okay now here executing timeout in step setup is running but still the value is not changing what is is happening is let's try to print the name here console.log name okay console.log name so now if i try to print the console.log name here you are able to see the we are getting the value so that means when we change the variable to ref it has become some object it has been converted into some object and here you are having the value see so value in this value you are having the lila web dev so that means what we need to do we need to change somehow something like name dot value is equal to lila so that means we take we cannot directly change the name value so whenever you are using the variable as a ref means so we, in order to change that variable we need to use name dot value is equal to lila in, directly we cannot give name is equal to lila we need to change it to name dot value is equal to lila now when we change that name dot value is equal to lila let's try to check the output here if i refresh this one so after three seconds let's see see after three seconds it has automatically converted to lila so that means you may get a doubt here so here we are changing name dot value name like this right why why you can't we use here username dot value why because it is present in the dot value right it is an object right it is present in the dot value right? but here what will happen is vue.js automatically takes that value only so there is no need for us to mention uh, explicitly dot value like that okay so that is, this is the how we can use the variables two way binding reactivity in the using the composition api so using options api you need to do like this using composition api what we need to do is you need to write the setup and whatever the reactivity you want the what are the variables you want the this one as a reactivity so you need to use ref of lila web dev you need to use the ref and inside the ref when you when you want to change this variable name what you need to use is you need to change using name dot value is equal to lila okay so here you can there is no need to pass you can directly pass name directly here and automatically it will be reflected here if you change here if you if you pass here name dot value then it will become again the pass by value why because you are passing the string value name dot value you are passing you are not passing the object if you pass the object only then only the reference will be there so that whenever the name is changing automatically the value will be changing if you change here the value name dot value if you try, if you try to pass here directly and if you try to check here the output so here it will not change okay so if i try to execute this one okay so lila web dev is there it's uh, fine is executing now here exit in timeout now it will not change here that means we are passing explicitly the string value so now you need to pass the reactivity object everything ref object you need to pass everything the vue.js will take care of this one so this is how we will be writing the first step using the data how we can implement the data variable and how we can check the reactivity using using the composition api okay if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video Please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.